on the last video. This is such a weird idea. And so it continues. This whole affair started 17 years ago because of something a man called Ryan told them. Suzette's parents wanted to kill someone. What was the incident at the church? And is Ryan still in the village? <laughs> Reporters for a call magazines don't generally go around chasing after murder cases. But anyway, I suppose I'll ask around the village. Time to get our scoop on. All right, Keats, let's poke around town. First, we should ask Mrs. Lester if she knows anything. Ryan was very kind. He was a decent, honest man. He died 17 years ago, and some other people died then too. Harriet must have been devastated. They were close. Alright, I'll head over to Harriet's. Give her all a rundown. Hello. Did you know a woman called Regine? She recently fell over the cliff and died. She must have been involved in something bad. Yes, I knew her. It seems to have begun 17 years ago with a separate incident. Other than Regine's husband, Ronaldo, the only person who's come up so far in connection with this is a man called Ryan. I was wondering if you knew anything about him. Ryan's dead. That was also 17 years ago. Hmm. Another person dead. Were you and Ryan close? He was a kind man with my disability and all. He was always very helpful to me. Do you have any memento of his? <laughs> How odd. The young lady asked me the same thing. I won't ask why you want it. She did, huh? Interesting. Me? Well, I'm just doing a story. I already gave what Ryan entrusted with me to Ellen, I'm afraid. The pub owner was a close friend of Ryan's, however. Alright, well, I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Gonna go to the pub, go and get a drink, and go have fun in the netherworld. Hey, barkeep man, what's uh, what's uh, crack lacking? Do you know a man called Ryan? Yeah, he was a good friend. We were army mates. He was a good friend. Ryan died in the graveyard behind the church 17 years ago. Murdered. Not a single person held a grudge against Ryan. We still don't know what happened. The village wasn't deserted then. Didn't you call the police? The Sawen night incident. Others died too, but no one wanted to dig deeper. Times like that, people just pass it off as the work of the hag. The Hag, who was a goddess from the Celtic mythology. The old witch who appears in fairy tales, huh? Yeah, it's the work of a supernatural being, so don't delve too deeply, they say. Ryan lived in that hut in the lighthouse cave. If you search that place, I bet you find something. Seventeen years have gone by. I think something's starting to stir again. You know what? I think you're right. Because there's a video game about it. Ellen, I'm here to chat. Oh, I guess I did in fact get here before Ellen did. She was always the slower on the feet one of us. What's this? Ah, I guess that explains why he had that, huh? I wonder why this was worth keeping. Picture of a child. 
Well, I hope we find out eventually. Keats, why are you here? Same as you. Whatever Ryan said to Regine 17 years ago, it triggered a tragedy. And now, Regine has been killed. Are there any clues? Only half a photo. Huh? I have the other half. What could it mean? They match. A doctor and his patient? Is this Herf? Suzette's brother? Yes. I was told that he died because of someone. Told by whom? The dead? Yes. How did you know? A reporter cannot divulge his sources. But we still don't know why Hervé, Brian, and Ronaldo died. And now, Regine? Just what is happening here? Here, you can have the photo. Thank you. Thanks. Been a really help. Now that Ellen has the photo, I wonder what she'll do next. Well, let's, uh, go see. Now that she's got the photo, I wonder where she'll go. She's having the same experience as I am, though. That answer's simple. I think you're trying to elude we're going to the henge. Okay. Ellen! I'm coming. Don't you go on without me. I need to party with you. We're grouping together now. Keats! So you've come. I have a question. Does this netherworld mean that the ancient legends were true? The fabrications of ancient man and these illusions are unrelated. But it seems quite real to me. To me as well. But the afterworld is no such place. How do you know? I just know. Why not come along? That photo allowed me to communicate with the dead. Why not? I could do with the new story. To the church graveyard. The apex of Ryan's memories. Is this place? So the netherworld wasn't the land of the fairies. This place is... well... let us call it Warcadia. The netherworld was born out of human thoughts on death. A fairy realm of pleasure is how the ancients imagined the afterworld. And so Arcadia must be a contemporary image of death then. That makes sense. Where's Ryan? Inside another folklore. Not necessarily. But it's true that the dead who feel powerful emotions, such as rage, hatred, or sorrow, tend to get pulled inside folklores. I see. I have more questions, though. Are there other realms besides this? As many as there are stars, the fairy realm is only the beginning. This Warcadia is quite far removed from the real world. And the further away it is, the more strength necessary to open the door to that world. Am I 
his strength is limited. Is that it? That's why you need the power of the folklores. You defeated Sunonis in the fairy realm, and so... You mean that's why I was able to enter Warcadia? So, two birds with one stone, more for my story, plus an occult experience to boot. You know, you think positively, and I like that about you. Let's go to Warcadia. Hello, my little friends. I came for you. Let me tell you a few things. Oh, well, I don't need your help, though. Thank you, though. There are quite a few who don't like the Fairy Lord. He behaves like he represents the entire Netherworld. Well, that's because he's old and thinks he knows everything. The flow of time in the Netherworld is different from that of the real world. You could end up passing someone who you thought left after you. Or you could end up behind someone you thought you'd passed. Okay, that's kind of weird, but I guess it could explain weird continuity things. I don't really have any yet so far, but there could be some soon, I don't know. Hey there, uh, little guys. It looks like I'm gonna be getting you. I have fire with Keats, though. I don't know if you realize this, but fire plus skin fucking hurts, dude. It is the worst. I don't even think I'm gonna bother using you guys. I'm just gonna straight up stick with the, uh, you know... Okay, that hurts. I'm gonna straight up stick with what works, Keats, and that is just brute force. I didn't get that one. That's okay. I can live without it. I also whistle when I'm done beating up things. That is a really neat feature. I wish there was a button to whistle so I could just constantly do it, but I can live without it. Attack. Well played. What was this one again? Ah, right. My roly-poly. Love that guy. Well, Keats, you're a lot stronger <laughs> than fucking Alan, and I love it. I already have that? Goddamn. Yeah. See, with Alan, I was experimenting with having my little army. I was role-playing as a commander. I don't want to role-play today. Keats is above role-playing. He writes for an Akal magazine. He's probably a prick. I guess that would make him a commander. Or a good commander, anyway. Hmm. Nah, fuck it. He's too stubborn to want to deal with peons. I was about to say plebs, but both kind of work, I guess. And they're toasty. Good. See, it just takes three hits and they're just down. It's fucking stupid easy. Jesus! Alright, I'm waiting for the new things. I know you got new things in store for me, right? You better not be thinking you do, but then don't. Because that would really peeve me off, considering how Fairy World worked out. In fact, I'll be kind of disappointed. I don't want to be disappointed. I straight killed that thing. Eh. Well, I guess since I've seen all of this shit before, I'll just do the whole editing thing until something neat happens. Rank up! You are now Lieutenant Master Keats Sergeant. That was a joke on how the fact that you rank up in video games is silly sounds name since I'm dumb. I can't talk very well. Here we go. What are we today? We oh you're different. Hi. Whoa, you've got bombs! Yes! You are my kind of guy! I like you! I never found the page for you. Oh, dear, dear Willikers. Okay, I might need to actually. Okay, never mind. Fuck anything else. I just need my roly poly. It works just fine. Probably not. That works too. And this. That does. Okay, never mind. I'm fine. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be in trouble. I just, I, I looked everywhere, but I never found the page for him. I guess I just got a lucky, or I missed something. I thought I found everything, though. Oh, well. Maybe there's just no page for this guy. He's got a really weird mask on. Is that a mask? Yeah. It's creepy, though. It's like a gimp mask. I don't like it. Because I don't like gimps. Gimps are weird. 
freaking Pulp Fiction made me uncomfortable. Alright, Mr. Bombardier. Yeah, I'll just light you ablaze, buddy. You know what? Fuck this. Let's go. You like having pain? I hope so, because I'm pretty fucked up when I'm doing this. I'll take this now. I really do love the transcendent thing. It, it makes you feel like such a fucking badass. There we go. Volcano. Isn't that a name of an Undertale villain? You know what? I've been thinking about it. I just realized something. I said that I think Volcano was the name of an Undertale monster. Volcano is a thing. It's an actual thing. It's a word. Alexa, define volcano. The word volcano has a couple of distinct meanings. One, a fissure in the Earth's crust, or in the surface of some other planet, through which molten lava and gases erupt. Two, a mountain formed by volcanic material. In other words, I'm really dumb. Volcano, huh? Let's see you. Throws flames continuously when button depressed. Uh, I gotta make it sad. You're worthless. Can change direction with flames when attacking. Okay. Um. I will. I barely use my my Roly Poly as much as I like him. He just takes too long. It doesn't do enough damage. So let's see. I'll try you out, buddy. Oh. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I'm Flame Man now. Quite a number of fairies have been sent in. Interfering in other realms like this is no small matter. Denizens of the fairy realm. Why are they coming here? Immensely powerful beings sometimes control denizens of another world. The fairy lord is one of them. Actually, it was he who invited Ellen into the netherworld. Is that Scarecrow his emissary? What's so special about her? One question at a time. Well, what's his goal? The Fairy Lord aims to change the Netherworld. The fairies don't think the Netherworld is how it should be. Surprisingly progressive for a realm created from ancient ideas. They're simply clinging to an older era, that's all. What's the relationship between Ellen and them? Denizens of the fairy world cannot pass freely between the realms. It seems the fairy lord casts some type of spell on Ellen. It opens up a path to the netherworld where Ellen is. Ellen is a netherworld trailblazer for all the fairies, is she? Enough for now. Speak to the dead to solve your so-called conundrum. I was intending to. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'm gonna go hang out with my buddies over here and save my game. Hey there, little bud. You're a broken thing. It's odd that the fairies are strolling around Marcadia like they own the place. Yeah, this is like some kind of weird statement on political affairs. Helping you is not easy. Anything you'd like to know? Uh, ultimate shit. What? The ultimate shield will appear only before the ultimate spear. Understand? No, what? On the Fairy Lord's order, fairies are pouring in, including Bogle the Fairy Knight. Their aim is to protect Alan. I'll need some luck, kids. Hmm. The machine soldiers are ridiculously durable. They're extremely hard to handle. Feel their armor first. Thank you. Certain conditions make the folks you use stronger. Using items, for example. Yeah, I got that. Thank you, though. Huh. Ironically, fighting each other for so long has turned them into folks. You need to be careful. Yeah, man. You gotta be careful. You could die here. And that means you're dead. Uh, hit it. Uh, hit it. I have a feeling I can't get in here yet. 
I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Hey! How are we doing today? You like fire? I sure hope so. Cause I have a whole lot of it. And it's great. I'm a toast in the toaster. It's just what I do. Toast in the toaster. Is that oh god. <laughs> we gotta stop meeting like this. Destroy shelling with powerful explosives, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna try you out. You seem like you could be a bit more neat. Yep. Yep, I was right. Ah, same guys here, huh? Alright, that's fine. I like these guys. Holy shit, that's cool, point blank. Get him again. That is so cool, point blank. Aw, oh, I can't burn him? Damn it, it makes sense. But I'm sad about it. Because I really like the firefish thing. That doesn't hit him either. Okay, point blank it is. Alright, I guess I have to, uh, change it up. Sorry, firefish. You have been replaced. I didn't want to tell you like this. But it has to happen. I'm getting shot, and then I get speared. Oh dear. Oh, maybe? No. The ultimate shield sword thing. Or speared and shield thing. It could have been talking about these guys, but I don't think so. I mean, they have like an electric shield, but I don't know if that's the ultimate worthy being called shield. I somehow dodged that. Okay. God, the eggs combo. Okay, I got more combos. Get comboed on, son. Man, my combos are out of this fucking world and I'm getting shot at. Get these things down. They're trying to hide them from me. What the fuck is this shit? Can you shoot this or no? Nah, too small. That's fine. That's why we have big jangles here. That's not his name. I got the book! What? What? I could be wrong, but I think that's Napalm. Holy shit. I rhymed on accident as well. But... If I get Napalm... Holy shit. Keats is like... Stupid cool. He's so fun to play. Like in comparison... I'm sorry Ellen. But someone made a good analogy. Not analogy, but comparison. Keats is the more aggressive guy. Ellen's like the more summoner-ish lady. But he's like the, hey, I'm gonna go in there and punch everything. And that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, shield guy. Hey. Oh, sorry. I'm, I did not put this back on. There we are. This works just magic wonders on it. And it's not because we're in a land of magic. It's because it does. That was easy. There's more of them. Okay. Well... I do like how it's different for both characters, though. It's still... It's still pretty much the same. Same areas and everything. It's just different monsters. And that's cool. Like, here, last time, it was a minefield. It is a minefield still, aesthetically. But there's no mine people. Just guys with shields. And over here... Maybe when I get this, something crazy will happen. Like getting a book. And it's another shield guy. Okay. Not as crazy as Ellen's. But I'm holding out hope. Good job, you. So, I suppose I'm gonna go see about what the heck the thing is gonna be that the tank was last time. Yo, man, I don't want to brag, but I just trimmed like 30 minutes of grinding footage. <laughs> Whoa! You know, I never actually looked at this page. But it looks like I need to blow that guy up with bombs. Good. Alright, Tanky. Same deal as last time, except now I'm actually far more of a badass. I hope you understand that this is gonna happen. Looks like you understand. I'm glad. God damn it, kids, you're such a badass. Holy shit, buddy. Good lord. <laughs> He's so cool. 
He is so cool when he does this. Like, am I lame for thinking this? I probably am. I don't really care. Ah, oh, what a cool motherfucker, dude. I don't need that for the boss. I'm a badass on my own. Fuck. Hey there, buddies. The folklore of the fortress is right in front of you. Foolish fairies. They've been route to the fortress with Ellen now. Their little army is all flesh and no substance. They'll never defeat the folklore. Ellen and I came to war, Kitty, at the same time. So why didn't we meet each other? Human concepts of time and space need nothing in the netherworld. The dimensions you perceive here are purely subjective. Ellen's cloak has also given you power. So, like it or not, there's a bond between you and Ellen. You're likely to meet up with her here in the netherworld. That's good. I want to bond with her a little bit. So, you're the famous Keats. I hardly think someone like you could defeat Ellen. I'm gonna punch you. You are being a snarky little shit. Who is stopping me? Who, these guys? I could kill you. I wonder why Levane contacted you. Levane has other supporters, but she never lets anyone accompany her except Belke. Because I'm adorable. What would you like to know? Uh, tell me about the ruler of Warcadia. The Warcadia folklore, Dreadnought. It's a terrifying weapon of destruction. It burns, I've heard this before as Alan, okay. Well, I guess I'm pretty much set. Cool beans. You know what? I never actually did the quest with Alan. Might as well do it with Keats. Oh, there's two of them. What? Meh. Meh. You know what? Your quests suck. I don't want to do that fluffer shit. God damn it. Charlie says he can hear the voices of the dead. Help him, would ya? Oh. I already did that. The Netherworld was born when humans found intelligence and became conscious of death. It has grown since that time, absorbing thoughts on death. Oh, so it's been around for a minute. <laughs> Don't you ever get confused about which is a dream or which is reality. We have lives to too. We wonder which is the real world and which is the netherworld. Well, the real world sucks, so that should help. Squeak, my thug has turned up in the pub. Squeak, do something about it. Squeak, why did he come here anyway? Squeak, how should I know? Are you calling me a thug? I am, but how dare you? Everyone has their troubles. They have lives come at night. Humans bring their troubles to the pub during the day, yeah. Please drop in now and again. You got a gang corner. Well, everybody, I'm gonna go kill a folklore. What's new, pussy? I believe I am prepared to kill some bitches, as they say. I would be more prepared, but I have no fucking clue what a galley beggar is. Kinda lost me there. Alrighty. Final push. Hey, boys and girls. Looks like you're all, uh, armed and ready to go, huh? That's nice. That is so nice of you be joining me today here in holy matrimony to be married to the dreadnought that's not what's being happening right now 
But check this sick ass combo on that can do with these guys here. Alright, not that one. But this thing right here. Dead. Dead. Wow. Dead. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's try this again. One, two, three. Okay. That little fucker ruined my sick fucking showing off skills. I say fuck too much. It's edgy and I can't stop it. Here, I'll just absorb this one. I don't even care. I've been just haymaker and people all day with these things. Doesn't even matter. Oh god, how am I gonna get through this? I can't get through! It's impossible. I have fish. There it is. That was incredibly challenging. The puzzles. Too intense. Let's go, nerds. No, stop shooting me! I have to absorb ints! All right, Hawk? Really? Hawks of all- Oh my god, I'm gonna die. You're, I'm about to die. I am literally about to die. Holy shit. Uh oh, uh oh, bad call. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm still gonna die, but I'm okay. Wait, healing orbs. Yes! Fuck you bitches. Let me just take care of that guy before he comes back again. God, this is so embarrassing. I got overwhelmed by hawks and gunnermen. And just little, little, these things. They're, they're just so dorky. Now I understand how it feels to be beaten by Mewtwo King. Hey, book. I'm apparently missing a whole two pages. How'd that happen? I, I went to everything. Weird. Well, either way, it's pretty much the same thing. I don't have a degasser. But, oh, I gotta use the flamethrower guy. Oh, that makes sense. I, I forgot I even had him. Okay. Oh, I gotta use the... What? Well, it turns out, I have to use the army guys to get his legs. Which are the hawk guys. That is... Oh my. Okay, that'll do, pig. That'll do. You definitely got more of an introduction on Ellen's side. That's okay. Oh god. So... I just realized I also don't have a shield. I'll be fine. Crap, I gotta get him on his butt. Here, burn him. Good enough, I guess. I, re I never leveled up this fire shit at all. I suck. Okay, when he jumps at me, I'm just gonna run forward. Like that. I didn't do it. Good at all. Shit. Oh, wait, I have a dodge. I'm a fucking idiot. I always forget I have a dodge. Why do I forget this all the time? Ah, well. Come on, buddy. Just like we practiced. We out. Okay. Let's go. Jump. Do the jump. Jump at me. I want to practice my dodging capabilities. Tech frames. Okay. Is that it? Come on. Come on. A little bit more. I could have done a bit better there. That's fine. The turret's spinning up. Badge okay. I didn't feel like shooting. He just wanted to throw a temper tantrum. Come on, pal. Work with me here. There we go. That looks pretty toasty to me. Almost. Ah, fucker. So close. It's gotta be like one or two more times, right? 
Yeah? That hurt. Ah, oh, crap. Wrong side, come on. Get him! Toasted too much, come on! Oh my god. It's okay. Once he gets to the point where I can fuck his legs up... I'm getting fucked up. I'm gonna... Take him out, man. Was that good? That was good. Thank you. Alright, so apparently hawks work on these guys? Or his legs? Wait, what? Oh, whoa. Never mind. His hawks don't... His hawks are just attacks. What the hell? Oh, I just hit him. Oh. For some reason, I thought it was little fucking troops going at him. I don't know why. That's fine. I can fuck up his legs pretty decently like this. One more. This will do it. There we go. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Transcending. Hi. I am... I don't know even what I'm hitting right now. I am in the wrong place and I can't get out because I'm inside of his body. That's fine. <laughs> that was a good use of your transcension, buddy. Fuck. Alright, well I hope I did something. Probably didn't. Alright, gotta punch him in the face. Actually, no, I don't I don't gotta punch him in the face. Or I might. Oh, I can still hit his legs, that's right. I can knock his legs out so much faster than Ellen. There we go. Can I still punch him? Holy shit, that was quick. Well, I guess it was just like how it was with Ellen. Hers, it took a lot longer, but with Keats, he's just so fucking go gettery. Oh well, I'll just start doing the whole fishing thing after banging him around a little bit. And that's it. Whew. Good on you, man. This makes two. Fairy losses are mounting. They should have left it to Ellen. You look glum. Such a waste. Fighting a battle that cannot be won. A bit sympathetic of the enemy, are we? Just like ancient man as I know him. And how would you know? I know, as I know the ancient netherworld. I don't know who the hell you are. If you want to know, then work with me. But the scale of this is beyond me. Perhaps we can stop the grandiosity. Is that not who you seek? Is that Ryan? You're the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. Aren't you? Who are you? I'm investigating the incident 17 years ago. I don't want to talk about it. You remember a woman called Regine, don't you? What exactly did you tell her? Her husband and child died mysteriously 17 years ago, and she was killed recently, too. Such tragedy in that family. They at least deserve to have the truth revealed. Yeah. It was the night of Selwyn. Harriet and I went to the church graveyard. The lights were on in the church for some reason. It seemed odd, so we looked in. We saw her lying in bed, and Dr. Lester looking extremely upset photo was of that. Yes, there you took it with my camera. After that, she often commented on that picture. Oh, it was horrible, she said. I didn't see anything especially unpleasant about that photo. 
was horrible for Harriet. Let me ask you, then. What did you tell Harriet's parents? I told them why Herf had died. That was a few days after this photo was taken. Herf was so happy the day before. He said he and his father, Ronaldo, were going to the lighthouse. So I told Ronaldo and his wife exactly what Harriet told me. They turned to Ashton and left. After that, I don't know. Well, after that, Ronaldo fell over the cliff and died. What in the hell did Harriet tell you anyway? And what happened to you personally? I tell you more, but I have little time. On the verge of becoming a Nema scene? Yes, but before I do, I'd like to ask a favor. I just realized something. Can you please tell Dr. Lester that the fairy is back? What's that mean? And tell Harriet to forget the past and embrace life. Hmm? No! Wait! mistaken. Dr. Lester has a heart of gold. Oh no. I'm sorry. Your precious photo. Don't worry. It was my fault as well. Ryan, I have an idea for you. Children have always liked you, yes. I want you to get the truth out of her. You want me to ask her? Yes, I will. If I'll convince you. I don't know what you're after, but I don't want you to dishonor yourself. Thank you. But be careful. She may have a fairy guardian. Oh. Oh shit. New things are conjuring up today. All right, Harriet. I need you to speak words at me. And you're gonna speak them true and honest. Cause I have a lie detector in my brain. No, I don't. I met Ryan in the Netherworld. What did you see at that church 17 years ago? Well, you've been poking around. What did you ask Ryan to do? Ryan died where you should have. I'm not accusing you, I just want the truth. What did you say to Ellen? <laughs> she is special. I just wanted to test my theory. Get to the point. That girl, Ellen, she was in the village 17 years ago. What? It will all become clear very soon. Man, I don't have any idea what's going on, but I'm kind of sort of into this. We're a couple of birds in a wolf den, but to us it still feels like heaven. Cause we don't let the bad vibes get in, we don't let them win. Testify to the strength of a true bomb Flying high over the heads of a root mob Staying at the revolution of the whole clock Killing all with love